Okay, so for our discussion today about if-else, uh, this is our example system. Uh, I created this uh, for you to check and understand. This actually is a COVID vaccine priority checker. I have prepared this for you. Now, we have category A that it will be checking frontliners, senior citizens, person with comorbidities, frontline personnel, and indigent population. So, um, I'm sorry for my voice because I'm not feeling well, but um, to continue, this will ask for your name, your age, and this is a picture box. It will display the result if it is if the person is qualified or not for the category A vaccine. I mean, for the category A vaccination. Now, um, here we have an event for the text age. We have uh, used the uh, text age leave on leave. So upon leaving, uh, the try catch here is that it will catch if there's an error. So it will convert the text age into text now it's checking if the age is 60 so the picture box one will display qualified image now it will display the group box in the button so group box 6 is this and the button is this now if the age is greater than or above 18 then so that the first statement is actually checking if the person is a senior citizen or not so if the if the person is senior citizen automatic he he or she is qualified now if um the age is in a is above i mean equal or above 18 but is below 60 the picture box will display null so it will clear the value the group box 6 will be visible the uh, button will be visible and uh, we will have we, we um this will actually trigger another function so once this will be visible and this will be visible um the user has an option to check <clears throat> based on uh the input of the user is he or she a frontliner um with comorbidities indigent or what then um we also have now um, this will check if the person is a frontliner um, with comorbidity or personal so now since this is a radio button automatic that if one radio button is selected the others are within the same group is no longer selected because it's only one selection for a radio button now being that said so we will just be tracking or uh, we will just be tracking the yes uh, radio button so we checked if any of this yes radio button is checked so meaning automatic that person is qualified now if none then we will display low prio image that is because um, he is not part of this category he is qualified but he, he, uh, he or she might be part of another group or another category. Um, she might be a teacher, which is part of category B or another uh, worker. Um, then here, if the person is below 18 years old, we have um, the button not qualified. But I don't, I think they're qualified. But um, this is just an example. So we can always change the image or the condition. So now to run. Let's try to run. Uh, this will ask for the name. I will say Kim Martin, the age 25. Now, the group box will display and the button will display. So I will have, I will say I am not a frontliner. I am not, I don't have comorbidities. I am not a frontline personnel and I am not from an indigent group. So if I check, I am with low priority group. So now if I say, um, Aling Nena and Aling Nena is 60 years old automatic she is qualified because she's senior citizen now ating nurse now actually uh, just to remind this does not check the priority no? so this is just if you are part of category A so Aling nurse is 20 years old she is a frontliner and we check she is qualified Mamang Police is um, not a frontliner, but a frontline personnel. So, Mamang, per Mamang Police is qualified. 
However, if we have Jun Jun and he is 17 years old, automatic he is not qualified. So this is how basically this is basically how the system works using C sharp. So you can try to explore and check how you can improve this. So 